I very much appreciate uh, being invited to be able to do this and um, and looking forward to presenting to you. So first slide, here's, here's all about me, basically. Uh, I also had a background in implementing project managing in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, uh, but changed that a few years ago, just before the pandemic, I decided to go out on my own, which was a great, not a great time, I should say, to start and uh, went out on my own with Microsoft 365 and, and the Power Platform uh, and have become a consultant with that since then. As you can tell by my accent, uh, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, a long way away and uh, it's quite early in the morning here. So uh, excuse me if I, uh, hopefully I don't fall asleep uh, during this presentation. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've had quite a number of years of Power App and Power Automate experience. And I'm a I love the power community. Um, I think I've gotten much more out of it than I've put in, but I'm always trying to give back and uh, through LinkedIn, Twitter, and I've also got a YouTube account there. And I'm a family man with some grown up kids, and I, I really enjoy some good and some very bad science fiction. So let's get stuck into what I'm going to present with you today. So I'm doing this timesheet app. I got a requirement from a client uh, a few months ago to create a timesheet app. They purchased a third party system and it was, they didn't want it anymore. I think it was running out of support and they needed something to replace it. So they came to me and said, hey, can you build us a power app that would uh, just be a timesheeting application? I said, sure. Uh, their general requirements were that they wanted to, needed to be able to enter time for activities such as projects or the different types of support and the different activities that they have and they needed to report on a daily weekly and monthly basis for both the projects or the activities and the user um, and the first thing I did was I went into the um, PMP community and I saw this wonderful uh, sample that April Dunham had, had done and I thought oh great I can I can pinch that and I can use that and I'll go for it unfortunately it didn't quite hit the requirements that I needed but it was a great sample so what I did was started to think about how I'm going to design this and I thought the best way was to use the dataverse because I I could see the growth the the idea with building these apps I find is don't just look at the requirement you have now but look at where you're going to go where you think it might go because if you lock yourself into a data design or a design uh, you can make some decisions that won't help that will be hard to grow out of so I thought rather than use a SharePoint list let's use dataverse I think that will give me more capability going forward so I used that and then I decided to have used both a model driven and a canvas app and I'll go through the sample of this in a minute but the model driven app was a great way for administration of, of the functions of this time sheeting and the canvas app was great because I could put in some UI and some UX uh, that the users could use quite well if you're looking for this I'm about to go through it but there's a sample I put into the PMP site there so you can go to that site if you do want the sample that I'm going to show you it is in there uh, in the GitHub hub for you to to go and use so i'll jump straight into my demo and let's see what we can do with it so let's jump into it so this is the demo now i must put my hand up and say i'm not the best ui ux and i'm still learning from a lot of the community members about what is good ui ux so excuse the colors and the and uh, some of the functions there but um i will <laughs> get better at it uh, and you can clean this app if you get the sample of this app this is how it looks how it feels and you can use this and, and recolor it and redo and i'd love to hear feedback of what people do with it uh, maybe you could teach me a thing or two it's pretty simple to use from a user perspective. So obviously here I've just used a, a date control here where the person can pick the particular date, which is really handy and really easy to, to design with. I've got a list of uh, projects that I've put in and I'll show you how I put those projects there through the administration. So I've got uh, three projects that I've, I've added in there. Uh, so the user can also put the hours that they've worked and you know they can put a comment in here if they want and quite quickly obviously you hit that save and it saves and it gets going yes it saves it into the, the record there and i've got just a nice summary of the week and those particular ones for the day you can delete the the record of the day if you want to and stuff like that so you know i've made it very simple and i purposely made it simple especially for the sample that you can go and build upon this and i'll show you where i've taken this shortly after i go through it of where i've been able to take some of this uh some of this functionality so this is the front end very simply done. Uh, the back end is a mod, so this is a Canvas app. The back end or the administration side, I've decided to use a model driven app. So you can see here that in the model driven app, I've got two 
basically two tables, the projects and the timesheets. So whenever someone is entering a timesheet record in here, it just obviously puts it in the dataverse and comes here. So you've got the person's name, the date they worked and the hours. Very easy, very good. What's great about that is you can then do something like, you know, you can either export it to Excel or I um, have started to do some Power BI reporting off this. So you can do some really nice Power BI reporting in that as well. Uh, and then within that, you could do projects. Uh, this is where the projects are created and you can add the projects in there as well um, for as an administration side. So then when you add a project in here, it would automatically turn up into this drop down here as well. OK, so it's really simple. All the data is in one or couple of places, but they're all in Dataverse, so it all reads the same way. Kept this really simple in that respect. Let's look a bit behind the scenes of what makes up this. So it's in a solution, a power up solution. So at this stage, it's only got five, if you like, five parts to it. So it's obviously got the projects table and the timesheets table, which I showed you before. It's just got the Canvas app and the model driven app. And because it's got a model driven app, I've got a site map to go with it too. So just the app there. So it's got five simple pieces that, that make it work there. So it's really, really easy. And the beauty about this is that because I'm in a solution, I'm, I can be in a development environment and now I can export it out, export the solution out to a test and a production environment using the application lifecycle management. And that's easy to do as well. So going through from the Canvas app, I'll just very, very briefly show you what makes up the Canvas app. There's not much to it, uh, but just show you the pieces to that. It takes a second to, to load up. Basically, it's just a few, different components to that. Now when you're demoing, it sometimes takes a bit longer. <laughs> uh, so as I said, this is just a date picker. There's then a combo box that reads from that table. The hours worked is just a text input, same with the comments. And this is just a gallery, a, a rec this is a rectangle actually with the different fields and the different Oh, sorry, this is a gallery that's in there and uh, a rectangle with a gallery. This is the gallery, sorry. And this has got the gallery from the records for that particular week. And you can see I've got a filter on there that picks up the different dates and the different times. So as you change dates, I should have showed you before, as you change dates here, if I go to the next week, to the week of the 22nd, then everything changes. So it goes to the next week and I can add next week in there. So that's why that filter is really, really important to change those dates and those weeks there as well with that with that filter in that gallery. So it's one page, really simple in that respect. So that's the one I've got in the sample. I'd like to show you what I've got in the particular. Now I've taken it forward and I can't show you the back end of this because the clients uh, you know, have paid me to do this, but I can show you this is what it started, ended up looking like. So what I've got here is the same sort of concept. I've got the date picker, but I've done some fancy things like adding buttons here to make it go to the next day. Uh, the activity is still the same. The drop down still the same. The hours worked are still the same. The comments still the same, right? Uh, in fact, I've even got some smarts in here that if I try to do more than 24 hours an hour's work, the save button is now disabled. So you can't do more than 20, 24 hours. So you can do things like that and I can hit save and then it will save the record to the particular date being the 19th eventually. Uh, what I've also done is done things like, uh, so there it goes there. I've done things like copy date. So these are all individual galleries. And if I wanted to copy the day of the particular Wednesday, this is just a button that runs another screen over the top of here. I've grayed the background out and put a screen at the top. And you can copy the day of the 17th to the next day, and it copies to that. So there are functions like that that, that do that. I've got to copy to next week as well. So these, this is the sort of thing you can start to build up on what I've given you in that respect, You know, taking piece by piece and building up on. And if I try to do this, maybe in, in other ways. This is not where I saw the app coming. When I first started doing it, there was no requirement to do these copies, but a version two, they asked for that. So I think it's really important to understand where you think your app might be going. That's the lesson I learned. Um, I have had to take some backward steps because I have had some mistakes where I've designed it badly uh, and had to go backwards to go forwards again. So be very careful when you're designing small apps that they grow and the requirements change. Uh, you don't don't paint yourself in a corner. So that's really it for me. That's the uh, the presentation. As I said, if you want to find the the sample I gave you before, it's in the PMP community app. There it is. There you can search for power up for time sheeting and that's the, the first sample I showed you earlier at all and the instructions about how it's all put together and you can find the code in there as well. 
So thank you very much, Dave. It's back to you. Darren, thank you. That is rocking it. And by the way, a special thank you for staying up literally in the middle of the night to uh, <laughs> present. It's 1 a.m. for Darren. So really community dedication there. You are awesome. So thank you so, so much. Thank you.